Hey y'all, Bobby here from the Paper Jungle with a new design team haul from Country Craft Creations. This is such gorgeous paper. Now, first off, the reason I titled this Please Watch is because I have noticed recently, well for quite a while now, that when you compare the number of views on the hauls as to the number of people that watch the walkthroughs and tutorials, um, the numbers are drastically lower and you're missing so much information if you don't watch the hauls because I'm aware that you've already seen the papers other designers have showed them to you in their hauls Tammy does a live when her new papers are released so I'm sure you've seen them and that's all well and good and I hope you love them but many times when you watch the hauls um, there's other items included that you may not even be aware that she carries in her store and the designers oftentimes know what they're going to do with their design packages and they can give you a head, heads up of what's coming. So you miss a lot of information if you don't watch the hauls. So I hope in the future that those numbers will increase, not just for myself, but for all the design team members. So the first thing I received, um, oh let me add, add, add also, got tongue tied there I guess, um, a while back, a few months ago, Tammy gave us well, I'll call it an allowance. And in addition to what paper collection she chooses for us, we're allowed to spend a certain dollar amount and pick out our own items that we want to work with. So those are things you're going to see in the, the hauls as well. Um, mine all came together, uh, what she picked, what I picked, and then a separate order that I placed. And it all came together. So I'm just going to show it all together and it doesn't make any difference whether she picked it or I picked it, it's all Country Craft Creations, and I think you're going to love it all. So the first thing I got was Here Comes the Bride, and I'm not going to go through every sheet because I know you've seen it, but I just want to tell you my plans for this. I have two albums planned, a smaller one and one a little bit larger than the first one. Uh, my oldest grandson got married last March, and he doesn't have a wedding album, but he had a very small wedding, so... I want to make something special for him and his little bride and then I will make a larger one as well. Uh, I also ordered to go with this paper and I love this. This is still in the cellophane. I don't know if you've seen it or not. It's her gold cardstock. I'm just going to pull one sheet out to show you in case you haven't seen it. It's just beautiful and I thought the black and the gold would work really well together. And look how sparkly that is. Isn't that pretty? And it sparkles on both sides. So that I ordered. And I also got another package of the craft card stock just because I needed it and was running low. Um, I also ordered, I think it was like 65 different sheets of my colors because I had started making, a few months ago, I'd started making a a swatch book for the, some of the design team members and Tammy has since added new colors so I had to order those so I could update our swatch books and it just makes it easy for us then to tell you when we use my colors uh, the names of each one that we use so if you want to make yours exactly like ours then you know what colors we used so I'm updating those so here are the cut aparts for this one and look at this one, it says reception. Here's a little marriage certificate that is so pretty. This is just beautiful paper. And on the back you have this uh, pinstripe I thought was really pretty. And there was another stripe in here I saw when somebody else did their haul. Uh, yeah, it's this one. This one is more bold, has more gold in it. Isn't that pretty? These papers are just absolutely beautiful. And you get two of the cut aparts and then three of all the other design sheets. And let me show you my favorite of this collection. Is this one on the back. I love the bouquet with her wedding slippers. Aren't that, isn't that pretty? Just absolutely gorgeous papers. And look at that one. Just beautiful beautiful I'm gonna lay this aside I did take them all out of the cellophane so you didn't have to listen to the crackle and then I'll put them all back the next one I got was love letters 
And these are the two that she picked out for me. And I love the colors in this. Look at these tags in here. Aren't they just beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful. So you get two sheets of that. And then you have these cut-aparts. All the tags are tickets. Cupid's Bakery, The Kissing Booth, Valentine Farm. Two of those. And then you get your paper collection, which is three of all the others. Look at all the beautiful florals in here. And that one is that pretty. Oh my gosh, they're just beautiful. So, like I said, I know you've seen this. And I don't want to bore you to death, but you really need to look at her store because not only does she have paper and adhesive and chipboard and cardstock, but she has embellishments and stickers and lace and mixed media and just it goes on and on and on so oftentimes you're going to see the designers have picked something that you maybe didn't even know she had so it's really beneficial in, in the long run for you to watch the hauls so the one that i picked was farmhouse um farmhouse living by cartabella and i have in the past made pretty good sized scrapbooks, um, recipe books for both of my older grandsons. They both ask for one. And I've yet to put any recipes or recipe cards in them. So I am going to get busy with copying the recipes, getting them printed out, and making decorative cards to put the recipes on. And I will share that with you when I make them, but I wanted this paper for that purpose. So I will be making recipe cards, and sometimes they're going to be pretty big. Now look at these cut aparts. Aren't those cute? Front, French port, front porch rules. Put your feet up, watch the sunset, read a book, wave to neighbors, visit with friends, enjoy the view, listen to music, sip your coffee, and relax. I love that. And here's a recipe for chocolate pudding. So there's that. It's the back of these. Oh, look at that. County Fair Food, and it's got some recipes on there. 10 step bread making basics. That is so cute. Now this is Cartabella and I think there's just one of each sheet in Cartabella. So there's your wood siding, your plank wood, there's the chickens and um, chicken wire. And then you've got this kitchen print, kind of reminds me of an old-fashioned wallpaper. And that blue plaid. And we've got a green plaid. And then all the cows and chickens. And, and then here's a floral with a yellow print on the back. And then we've got cows, sheep, pigs, and chickens on a blue background with an orange check. And then we've got the white background with a lot of quotes, middle of nowhere, center of my world. I love you to the farm and back. It's <laughs> cute. And then this multiple stripe. Then we have a real tiny floral with a green gingham or check. And then we've got tulips on a white background. Oh, isn't that pretty? That red ticking stripe. I like that. And then here's another cut apart. And this one, and this is still farmhouse living. And then I, I did order some separate sheets from another collection that were kitchen related that I thought would also work well for recipe cards. And that is this one with the mixers. And it is from Sunflower Market, also by Cartabella. And on the back side of that is that little green pinpoint. So we've got two of those. Then I did the one with the pies. Two sheets of that. It's got a red print on the back. And I thought this would be neat for a lot of small cut-aparts in the words. You'd use them as um, in little tuck spots and two of those. 
and on the back is another green print. And then the chickens I absolutely love. I've got two of those. And that's got a crisscross stripe, green on green. A lot of green in this one. Then we've got the floral. With the red. Kind of, a, that reminds you of a picnic. Or does me, anyway. And then we've got the cut aparts. Really pretty. Family, a little bit of loud, a little bit of crazy, and a whole lot of love. That's cute with yellow on the background, or on the back side. And I ordered several sheets of the, actually three sheets of the barn wood, and has this on the back. That's also farmhouse living. And a couple more of these with the blue on the back. And then, a couple days after this arrived, the mailman brought me Once Upon a Book. And I really wanted this one um, because I'm an avid reader. I, I read part of every day, no matter what. At least if I don't get any reading done during the day, I read when I get ready to go to bed at night. So this will be awesome for my book list. I keep track of what I've read, what I've got coming up. It's just beautiful. So this has all kinds of book memory bit, or um, graphics. Couldn't even think of the word. Two sheets of that. Is this two? I guess it's just one. No, it's two. I thought it was. It felt like two. And on the back, it's like a ledger paper. It's really pretty. Very muted. And then we've got these tags. All the books and things. I love this. This is so pretty. And on the back. We've got this collage. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the old camera up here. Public library. Wow. Okay. Then, we've got this rose floral. Another collage on the back of that. Look at the chair with all the books. So pretty. Three of those. Look at all the typewriter. It's like copied out of a dictionary or something. It's pretty. Then we got these little girls, and that'd be pretty on the front cover. With the rose at the top. And on the back. Oh, that's pretty with all that muted colors. It's so pretty. I hadn't seen this one other than. Um, one video Tammy did. I haven't seen anybody post anything with this, so this is all new to me. And this says property of the National Library. I can remember going to the library as a kid, and it was always such a neat place to go. That's really pretty, that background there. And here she is with her stack of books. get through this so I can show you the rest of my items. That's really pretty. That kind of reminds you of an aloe plant, for me anyway. Here's some more books. Little people with their books. I think we're getting down to the end of it. We look at that. Isn't that neat? And then this is the last one, I think. Bookshelf. Oh, I like that old tufted chair. And I guess that just got, oh, that's like this. This goes with that. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Now, the other things I got. I needed some baker's twine, so I got this gray. I thought that would really be pretty with the wedding collection. The chunky twine. And I ordered two of the um, black ribbon, one of lace and one of ribbon. I ordered the, the gingham check, and then I ordered this loop. I thought it was so pretty. Real dainty looking. I thought that'd be pretty on the wedding book. So I ordered that. And this is a Tim Holtz lantern. 
that is going to go on my next um, junk journal. Couldn't even think of the word. I'm going to make it, but I can't think of its word or its name. Um, what I'm going to use for the junk journal is uh, the next craftology box is going to have, I don't know if she said it was called summertime or springtime, but it's one of her collections. And I also have the plaid collection that she had out a while back. And I'm going to mix those two together with some um, coffee dyed paper or some, um, just a little bit of everything. And it's going to be so pretty. And it's going to be more of an idea book. Different things you can do with junk journals, different page layouts you can make. So that's what I want to do with that collection. Okay, then I got the ephemera for the farmhouse. And it shows you on the back what all is in it. How many pieces does it say? 33 pieces. I love this one that says Gather and Life on the Farm. Then I got the frames and tags, which also has 33 pieces. It's got the cutest little apron in it on a tag. And then, is this like the other one? Bits and pieces. And this is from Homegrown. I love the barn in it and the truck. And then the basket of veggies. Those things just kind of draw me in. And then I got a second one of those. Then I got the bits and pieces to go with the wedding collection. And this one is called Heavily, Happily Ever After from Simple Stories. I ordered this lace, which I think is just gorgeous. And I've got some other laces in my stash that I'll probably add, add in that are kind of a creamy color. But with the black and the cream and the white, I think it'll be so pretty together. And this is just, you can see the edge of it. How pretty it is right there. Isn't that pretty? So dainty. And then for the wedding book, I ordered these bookmarks. A set of three of them. And I ordered the tag dies. I figure... I've got some tag dies, but for me, I can never have too many dies because I, I love using dies and tags and ephemera and all of the goodies. So that's what I got, and it's a lot of stuff. I have a lot coming up, so I hope you will make sure that you're subscribed and that you've clicked the bell so you don't miss anything that's coming up. And I will be back with you shortly. I'm thinking probably the first thing I'm going to do is the wedding albums. So that, that is my plan at the moment. But I have so much coming, coming up. And I hope you will stay tuned. Uh, be sure you subscribe. I would appreciate it if you would make a comment and hit the like button. That helps out my channel. Helps me to grow. And I will be back with you soon. And we will create something beautiful together. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.